Beautiful sandy beaches surrounded by coral reefs make this jungle-covered island of Honduras home to adventure natural beauty and friendly Caribbean charm. Roatan is home to the second largest coral reef in the world. Uh, essentially the, the, the reef here is the foundation of the economy. If there's no reef, there's no fish, there's no diving industry, there's no fishing industry. The entire economic model of Roatan could potentially collapse. Cordelia Banks is a coral bank that extends south of the island of Roatan. Cordelia Bank is important because it contains some of the most pristine reef, which is now non-existent in a lot of the Caribbean. It is right next to a cruise ship port, which is uh, incredible and right next to uh, international airport so the proximity of it uh, warrants good access and at the same time warrants and merits its protection. The Roatan Marine Park is a non-profit organization that works to protect the coral reefs and plan for their preservation. Daily patrols guard against illegal fishing and their mooring buoy program prevents anchor damage. Wristbands and other merchandise are sold to fund the Roatan Marine Park's conservation, education, and research efforts. People are waking up and saying, these are my coral reefs. If I don't stand up and do something about them, nobody's going to do it. People are wanting to work together. Roatan is also a mountainous island. Under the canopy, adventurers and nature lovers enjoy exotic gardens, jungle trails, and scenic vistas. Visitors can experience traditional music and dancing in Roatan at Punta Gorda, the first Garifuna settlement in Central America. Here with the people are very kind. You will see them smiling. If they're not smiling, they're dancing. <laughs> Dance is at the heart of all people. Roatan, Honduras is a popular destination for international travelers. But this island needs your help. The forests, mangroves, and coral reefs are under threat due to pollution and unsustainable development. Tourists can be very important agents of change. There are a few simple things you can do to help preserve this island and underwater paradise. Do not buy souvenirs made of coral or marine animals. Conserve water and turn off lights and air conditioners when not in use. Only eat lobster tail that is at least five inches and do not eat threatened species like grouper, conch, or shark. Promote the recycling bottle system and the reusable shopping bag. When snorkeling or diving, look, but don't touch, and don't stand on coral. Enjoy wildlife in its natural habitat, not in cages. The time to act is now. Uh, we can do this by being responsible consumers, Providing financial support is one of the best ways to make a difference in the places you visit. Philanthropic travel generates the critical funding needed to support local organizations working to protect Roatan's natural resources and enhance the quality of life for all who live and travel here. When you visit Roatan, we hope you will support the Roatan Marine Park by visiting their eco-store located in West End and purchasing a wristband, souvenir, or making a cash donation. Or by supporting the Bay Islands Conservation Association by making a cash donation. Every donation is important and appreciated, no matter how small. Because added together, these small donations can make a dramatic difference.